26, noes 12. The assembly amendments are concurred. In. And with that, millions of Californians are now one step closer to getting a pay raise. Today, state lawmakers approved a bill to raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour by 2022. It will be the highest statewide minimum wage in the country. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. To give you an idea of how this plan would work, California's minimum wage will increase to $10.50 in 2017, then $11 in 2018. From there, the minimum wage will go up a dollar a year until 2020. The governor is expected to sign this bill on Monday, and tonight we are asking how will this minimum wage increase impact California businesses and you? CBS 13 Sharin Rajay is live at the state capitol getting answers tonight. Sharin. Christina and Sam, it's a highly emotional issue, as you saw with reactions inside the Senate and Assembly chambers, and this can be life-changing. But as Governor Brown gets ready to sign this legislation on Monday, the impacts on both sides are powerful. For Brooks Ware, the day-to-day -day struggle is now a recent memory. I remember when I worked for a minimum wage job, it really uh, was hard out there, um, which is why I came into barbering. A single father to his six-year-old son, Alexander. Ware says providing a life on minimum wage here in California was beyond tough. And while he was fortunate to find his way out of those dark days through barbering, he's happy to know others may now have a chance at life, too. I think it's a good thing for a lot of people. I think it's going to help them be able to keep up with the gas prices, keep up with the rent, uh, keep up with being able to take care of their small families. Over at Rick's Dessert Diner on J Street in Sacramento, the news that California could soon have the highest minimum wage in the nation was promising for Sharjay Chapman, who enjoys her job but doesn't want to stress anymore over each paycheck. To be able to, you know, work where I'm at right now and just be able to get that paycheck and not have to worry about how I'm going to manage being a full-time mom, a full-time student, and a full-time job. Yet the stories around Thursday's vote aren't all positive. In fact, the bill has been at the center of controversy with state leaders and business owners who say the wage increase kills jobs. This wage is not sustainable for a lot of companies. When you're talking about jumping from $10 to $15, in that $5 increase, you're talking really about a $12,000 increase per employee. So if you've got 10 employees, you're talking about trying to find $120,000 in new revenue. Where does that money come from? Tatishi says as a result, some small businesses and nonprofits may be forced to close their doors or lay off workers or reduce hours. And yet some workers are simply concerned about the effect it could have on consumer goods. And again, this minimum wage increase will be happening over the next few years, and it's estimated to cost the state about $3.6 billion in higher payments for its workers. So the question now is, where will that money be coming from? A lot of questions mm -hmm. out there tonight, Shireen. Thanks very much. Live for us tonight at the state capitol.